Hello and welcome to everyone to our final part of the reunion, part three, where we have the one and only final five with us. We have Rachel. Hi. <laughs> Alantis. Maybe, <laughs> maybe we don't know. Uh, Jace. What's up? Hannah. Hey. And Jorge. Yeah. <laughs> we have the final five in that intense moment where we had Rachel, Jace, and Jorge literally begging and pleading Hannah for her to pick them to go to the final three after Alantis played her secret advantage. Let's go ahead and get started with that. How do we feel about Alantis' <laughs> secret advantage play? I'll start with you, Jace. <laughs> of course you're gonna start with me, cause you know I'm still mad. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I'm still mad. I'm not mad at Alantis. She, uh, she made, the right move, the same move I would have made had I been in her foot's her uh her her shoes, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh but it's still frustrating that I'm just like I still feel like she shouldn't have even been able to play the dumb card in the Oof. final round. Oof. Uh, and then also the fact that I'm still he like just called you dumb. <laughs> And so I'm still like 90% sure that she forgot about the card in her pocket. So like, <laughs> I don't know. I'm still, I'm still upset, but you know, that's uh, you know, she made it to the final three, and I'm I'm still happy for her and happy she got that that opportunity. But you know, still feel robbed. But it's fine. I'm. It's all right. It's good. Somebody he's over it. He's over it. I don't think he's over it. Somebody else talks. So <laughs> no. I'll shut up. Marcus, what do you think? Well, honestly, I did forget about it for like Thank a good you. Time. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> no, but oh. then, and then. Oh, we wanted to like, hear. It was before the final five, and I remembered about it. I was like, because, okay, so I had the card, and when I found it, I gave it to a producer, because I was like, I don't want to actually, like, have this with me, like, at all times. And then, so I remembered that I had given it to him, and then I was like, well, what can I do this? So I think I asked Wesley, like, hey, can I, like, actually use this in, like, this certain situation and so I got permission to do it and so I was like okay bet I'm gonna do that yeah so your secret advantages and expose still were able to be played yeah which is another thing that frustrates me because any controversial move I made that had to go to West to make a decision it always went against what I wanted to do but the minute Alanta said something she wanted to do that was like, oh, up in the air about how this should be played. Wes is like, yeah, you're good, you know. But when I wanted to see more the home. The thing was, Jace, that wasn't up in the air, and those rules were set in stone from the beginning, and I wasn't going to change them mid-game to be a convenience for Jace. No one I think it made the game better, man. That was just – that was awesome. That was exciting. Yeah, I hated it. But People were mad. Alantis was happy. That that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's how it <laughs> that was it. That was it. <laughs> Other people were happy too. I'm sure. Yes. <laughs> I was not one of them. Hannah, what was it like to know that you've got to pick two people to come with you because you win that final challenge? You're in the final three, and then Alantis plays this card. She goes to number two, and now you have one spot. You have to say one name. What was that like? Anna? Yeah, I'm not going to lie. Um, I think I still have nightmares about it occasionally. <laughs> because in my, like, going into it, when I was at the top, I was like, okay, I have two alliances here with me in the final five, so I'm taking both of them. Like, easy, done. Like, sorry, I love you guys also, but <laughs> that's just who, like, had saved me throughout the game, and so I was like, I owe it to him. She pulls that card out, and I was like, oh, shoot. Which, you know, I don't know. Things, I've been thinking about it. Things could have gone differently for me, but she played it, and I made a decision, and I'm sticking with it. Love my girl, Rachel. So I was, my next question was, do you regret taking Rachel? 
Uh, no, okay, regret is the wrong word, but I'm going to say, yeah, yeah, that, don't, um, don't, like, take it wrong. So, I've been watching Survivor recently, which is, like, I, Wesley talks about it all the time, but I've never, <laughs> I think it got really dark, but I've never, like, really watched it, but my sister watches it, so I was like, all right, I'll try it. And I didn't, like, think about really, I guess, the strategy behind it all, and also, I don't think I had a great grasp of how people felt about um Jace Jorge and Rachel like the how the jury would have felt and I think like going into it now and like knowing that people like maybe weren't the biggest fan of Jace in the game <laughs> like he just had made a lot of enemies it might have been a better play on my part to put Jace in there just for like strategy wise but I don't know I loved them both so Rachel let me ask you this so you won, obviously, and it was well-deserved. Thanks. But if you were on the jury, and mm -hmm. let's say all four, everyone else is, let's say there was a final four, and you're on the jury, who do you vote to win and why? Oh, that's hard. It's hard now looking back, because watching the season, I got to see everybody's strategy in the <laughs> game leading up to it. And so, like, if I had that information... I guess I think Jace did a really good job. He was really sneaky in a lot of ways. Like I thought that I, I think I had a pretty good idea of like Jace as a player, but then watching it back, I realized there were some levels like I didn't see. So, mm. you know, I, out of the four, probably Jace. But if I was like actually in the house based on who I was playing with, Hannah, because I had like had an alliance with her the whole time. So. Gotcha. <laughs> So I'm going to go to some viewer questions real fast. Alantis, this question is for you from Red Scrunchy on YouTube. <laughs> Alantis, are you aware that you're a legend? In what context? Like, what is that? <laughs> I think they're calling you like a totem pole legend. Oh, thank you. <laughs> She is. She is. She had a wild move. 100%. Well, I hope I can continue to be a legend for those people. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Like, accident or, um, like, smart play. Like, you pulling that card out in that last round was, that made you a legend for sure. That was, like, the most nerve-wracking thing ever. Because, like, when I was whole, like, I was, like, I was, like, I was, like shaking. I was, like, oh, gosh, I'm going to get so much hate for this. <laughs> You got to do what you got to do. I did have to do what I had to do, but. But it was wasn't prize. enough. And that goes to your next question. Are you bitter that you lost by one vote? How do you feel about that? I am not bitter. Like, I wasn't bitter then. I'm not bitter now. Like, it's a game. You can't win them all. And that's okay. I'm very happy for Rachel that she won, and she definitely deserved it. From a producer perspective, obviously, we got to see everything that was happening. And we saw Rachel because she went from the bottom of the totem pole. She almost went home by one vote. Oh, that was so was stressful. <laughs> that was what was that like, Rachel, to go from like the top of the totem pole to the bottom of the totem pole to almost going home by one vote? You were all over the place. You had to fight all season long. You really did. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, I think that, okay, I was freaking out that first round because I knew that my chances weren't great. I just didn't really start off on the right foot at all. And I had a lot of people um, that I knew in the bottom five with me. And so I didn't know how that was going to pan out. So I just was like on really shaky ground, like starting out. But I'm glad that I won that next challenge because I think that kind of like helped me recover and like told me like, okay, actually like just regain all my energy. I can do it. I can go back into it. Because if I hadn't won that, I think I would have stayed on like kind of an uncertain like platform for a while. But I think that kind of like reignited my confidence mm -hmm. and that like drove me through the rest of the game. So yeah. But and then the next time when I was down low on the totem pole, <laughs> I was like, no way, not here again. <laughs> but yeah, you're at the bottom of the totem pole and you made a deal with Jorge who yeah. actually 
saved you that round whenever he was the defender. Jorge, how do you feel about that? Do you regret saving her or what? What was that like to be the defender? Um, I don't know, man. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I think it was a good, I think it was a good move on my part because I didn't want to get like anyone out, you know, just because it was like in the beginning of the game, if I remember right. Yeah. And I had to like, I didn't want to make any enemies really. Honestly, I didn't have any strategy in the game at all. I don't know if anyone noticed. Like, I had no <laughs> idea what I was doing. I just didn't want to make any enemies. I just wanted to be friends with everyone. And hey, final five. So I did something right, maybe. Yeah. And Jorge, that final round, that final challenge, you got so close to winning. It yeah, was I did. Three yeah. mishaps back to back to back. And it was so intense. And everyone's nervous. It's like the final stretch. Like, I get it. But what was that like? Because you went from almost winning to going home. <laughs> uh, I was definitely devastated, for sure. Um, I, it was probably just nerves that I didn't hear how the totem pole was supposed to be set up. Mm -hmm. So I just – I didn't know how to solve it, really. <laughs> um, I don't know. I was just really devastated. Uh, I had one last – well, one last shot with Hannah, you know, trying to get on, but it didn't happen. <laughs> but it's cool. I still had fun either way. If anybody should be better, it should be Jorge. <laughs> really? Yeah, dude, you were right there. Like, I mean, really, like, you did the, you did the dang, dang thing, like, twice right there. I mean, you were you were close to winning that final challenge. I mean, it could have easily been you. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm bitter is because – like, it was it's my own hard. thing. It wasn't, like, someone knocking me out or anything. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, but I feel like if you would have, like, won that challenge, the final three just would have looked completely different. Who would you At least, I don't, like, I don't think I would have been there, you know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Poor I would have definitely <laughs> taken Jace and Rachel. I think they were my I allies. I just played her card, so then who would you have saved? Oh, shoot, yeah. <laughs> See? See, it's not so easy. You're right. You're right. <laughs> Dang. Yep. I don't know. I'd flip a coin at that point. <laughs> <laughs> well, me and Hori kind of looked at each other. We're like the last two guys. And we're like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> one of us wins this. We got to take care of the other one, you know? For but, sure. I remember that, yeah. But, uh, you yeah, know, mm -hmm. neither of us could pull it out. These girls are <laughs> strong in this game. Right. Question for the final three. Alantis, Hannah, and Rachel. What was it like watching the jury segment, the jury roundtable, where they're talking about the game and how y'all played and their opinions of that? Because a lot of the viewers said that the jury was really bitter, and I personally have to agree with them. So what was it like watching the jury have that discussion that came across really bitter? Um, I think it was weird, definitely, like, hearing people kind of act like, oh, no, like, none of those girls deserve it, like, they didn't play the game, <laughs> but I, what I think is funny is, I think it kind of is a tell about how well our games were, because they couldn't even, like, see it, you know what I mean, and, like, I think they all saw it once they watched it over in the confessionals, and the three of us, like, the plans that we had, people that we had talked to. So I didn't like take it personally, you know, I knew that they were just, you know, judging the game based off of what they saw. And if I were them, I would probably not be like completely thrilled either. But, you know, I mean, I didn't like take it personally at all. Yeah, I agree. Overall, the season was just weird to watch back and like hear everyone's thoughts on the game. Um, and, like, I wasn't bitter because I was in the final three. Um, so, like, hearing the jury be bitter at that point was like, oh, people feel this way. But, like, it had gone well for me so far. And so, I was like, I was feeling good. Um, so, it was definitely, like, weird to hear back and be like, I – it just – I think the season overall was weird to, like, listen to. And that, that's kind of what I was saying earlier. It's like I didn't realize how people felt about certain people or – um, like, things that I thought I saw going on in the house, like, were completely, like, a little off or not at all. Like, alliances I thought I saw forming were, like, not there. 
Um, or I completely missed some, I guess, but I don't know. It was just weird to hear back uh, people talking about it. Like, the weird thing for me, me is, like, looking back on it, because, like, the three of us were, like, in a room, like, a separate room far away from them. And, like, just to think, like, what was happening while we were just sitting there, it's just, like, wow. we're less than, like, a certain amount of feet, like, away from them, and, like, all that was going down. Well, you're right above them. Yeah, and then we, like, walked into a room, and we had no idea what had just been said about yeah. us. <laughs> like, people just, like, completely attacking us, and then we walk in, like, we deserve this. <laughs> it was awkward, though, like, walking in that room, because, I mean, you've seen Big Brother and Survivor, and you know they're, like, talking bad about you, and so, like, walking in, I was, like, you know that, like, TikTok that's, like, hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I need to edit that way. Let me get to it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hey, hi. <laughs> yes, that's exactly it. We were coming for y'all. We really were. And that <laughs> Yeah, people were pissed. They were out for blood. Rachel, what was it like being the winner and keeping it a secret. I remember specifically Mason, winner of season one, came up to me and we were talking and he was like, hey, I think this girl Rachel might be on the cast. She asked me what was what was it like being a winner and keeping it secret for so long and it completely went over his head, but I knew you had won. <laughs> but Mason had no clue. He was like, I guess she was like on Totem Pole or maybe, I don't know. Like he wasn't sure if you were on the cast yeah. or not. Or maybe he thought you were just asking the question, but it was two winners having a conversation with each other. No, that was like so frustrating because I saw him and there was like a lot of people around. We were like kind of getting out of this, like we were getting out of chapel, like just this big community college class thing, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, and I saw him and I was like, oh, that's the guy from season one because I had never met him. And so I went up and I was like, you, you won season one. We had that conversation. And then I thought in my head, he doesn't know that I won my season. <laughs> but I thought actually, yeah. And I didn't say anything to him. Yeah. But as like the creator, I was like, oh my gosh, like these two winners are talking to each other. Yeah. <laughs> and Mason has no idea who he's say. talking to. Yeah. Yeah. So, it was hard to keep the secret. What was it like winning the game after fighting all season long and then keeping it a secret for I think it was eight months? Yeah, it was hard. Dang. Yeah, and I didn't tell anybody. And it's funny because I went into like um, my roommates all knew that I was doing that, obviously. And so when I went in that night after it all happened, they were like, "So did you win? Did you win? Did you win?" And I was like, "Can't say, can't say." <laughs> and then after a while, like trying to get me to say, and I was like, "I can't tell you." Um, one of my roommates said she didn't win because if she had won, she would have like totally told us. <laughs> and so they like the whole time they were like she didn't win, she can't keep a secret. But <laughs> wow! And then they realized it, what what was it like whenever they found out you won? It was exciting, you know. It was fun to like see. I think as they watched the show, they kind of were like, oh, maybe, maybe. So but it was fun to finally reveal it. Yeah. I love that part, just releasing it and getting to see the way people react to it and what they have to say about the show. That's so fun for me, I think. It's like you're getting to watch this with this family that, you know, is growing and this family that we've created. And it, for me, it's really motivating to see it grow the way that it is. And these people, like, people are so invested in the show. It, it's, it makes me so happy. And I'm sure it makes y'all happy, too. Yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So, moving on, I have a question that's a little bit deeper. I have two more questions, but I'm going to ask the first one first, and it's about what we just talked about. So, what was it like seeing the reaction and reading comments and getting direct messages and seeing the way people perceive the show? What was it like seeing that interaction and seeing this analysis of yourself, I guess? I didn't read too many comments or anything i just kind of like let it happen i really didn't want to get any like negative feedback or whatever um also i'm not on social media too much so i really really didn't get to read anything and athena kind of had the same answer um she didn't do a reunion episode but i you know 
was texting her and just talking with her in general and stuff. And she, I was like, you know, how do you, she got the most, like, she was really polarizing. People were either like, Queen Athena, we love Athena. Or they were like, I cannot stand her. <laughs> like, it was so one or the other. And I was like, how do you feel? Are you okay? Like, I would check in with her. Because it was like quite a few comments. And she was like, you know what? Like, that's life. I was there. I'm competitive. I was playing a game. You win some, you lose some. That's life. And I was like, oh, my God. Like, that's amazing that she has that mentality. That's funny that you were like that, Jorge, because everybody loved you. It seemed like it seemed like everybody was like, shoot, I don't know. You were a big, you had a ton of fans, and so yeah, you, you should read the comments. I'll go back. I'll check it out. <laughs> For me, it was weird because I had like my lovers and my haters, you know, uh, <laughs> and uh, but I I ate it all up, you know, whether you uh, whether you loved me or you hated me as far as like the fans i loved it i had so much fun interacting with people and like arguing with people on social media that i didn't even know you, you know? argued with people on social media oh yeah i was like oh man I'd be like, oh, say that to my face you know like, <laughs> um so i i had so much fun like just interacting um you know and like honestly like probably it wasn't very good for like my ego but uh i had a I had such a blast with it and continue to do so. I mean, every now and then, like I'll get tagged in a, in a, like a, a short Instagram video or somebody's doing a rewatch or some dude on Twitch watched it recently and <laughs> <did> it <laughs> about me, which is fine. Yeah, you know. What do you, what do you say about you? <laughs> it was rough. You just have to go. It to the bad. He was it's okay, James, we love you. <laughs> oh did he like oh it was bad stuff <laughs> i'll, I'll send you because i took some videos of it i'll send you some clips later uh they were also like playfully bantering like jason's in the comments and Dylan yeah was being, was, well that was funny, funny. <laughs> roasting me for a minute and then he was like i don't care i'll roast him to his face and then i get in his comments and i'm like hey what's up and he's like it's all in love it's all in love <laughs> Uh, but that was fun, you know, so, I mean, it's still, it's, I still have a, a lot of fun with it, and I'm so thankful to, to be a part of it, you know. Yeah. You think I it's too it. late for me to go and roast people? <laughs> <laughs> Confront these people? To get a red notification. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alantis, Hannah, Rachel, what about y'all? My favorite thing about it is, like, the Instagram group chats. Like, those things are so funny. Like, I love being in those. <laughs> so, so, I think that's, like, my favorite part. I think there's four now that are, like, at max capacity. I think I there's should probably four? pick a new one. I'm only in two. How do I get to the other two? There's four. Well, they're max capacity, so I can't add anything else. But I'll probably put another Instagram story. I guess I could plug the Instagram here. If you're not following the Total Pole, follow on <laughs> social media. Uh, the Total Pole official on Instagram and Total Pole Game on Twitter. On Instagram, we have several group messages with people on production, people in the cast, and people who watch the show. And we're growing the family there. We have four group messages, but it sounds like we need to make some more. So that's coming soon. Anyways, back to <laughs> the questions. <laughs> Hannah and Rachel. It was like super weird. Like I feel like I'm just like a normal girl from Alabama that went to like a small school in Arkansas. And now these like people from across the world are following me um it would like pop up and i was like aha another totem pole follower or whatever um <laughs> i have a message up here in front of me that is a comment it says for hannah you're my favorite cast member how do you feel about that i mean that makes me feel great i love it i love all my fans um <laughs> but like wesley had talked about it before he was like you'll be shocked like people from like you've never heard of these places or these people like will love you and will follow you and will like like your pictures and i was like um i just saw a comment the other day that was like should have won totem pole really? i love it um but it's just cool i kind of didn't believe him and then it happened to me so <laughs> love all my fans <laughs> and i don't to me it's just like this it's a family that is growing and i love to see all over the world people are being mm -hmm. brought together that never would have you know, interacted before. I don't know. It makes, I'm not going to get emotional, so I'm going to stop. And let, since y'all are the reunion, yeah. I'll probably let y'all right. <laughs> Rachel. That was the time. Winner. It's now or never. 
I'm not crying. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> that could be like the, uh, what do they do? The, um, the clickbait. <laughs> Wesley cries. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that exactly. Put that as the uh, little picture thing. And we're all laughing at you in the picture. Yeah. <laughs> Cass makes fun of creator. <laughs> and Rachel, what was it like for you? It was really cool. Yeah, same as Hannah. Like, I wasn't expecting to get a lot of, like, feedback and comments and fans and stuff. I just was, I don't know. I didn't think that people were going to, like, so, like, interested in, like, you know, criticizing you and complimenting you both. Um, <laughs> and, like, <laughs> I got a couple, um, oh, what the edits made where they kind of, like, make those little videos. And I was like, oh, somebody spent time to, like, make that. That's so kind. Nice. <laughs> like, definitely surprised. But it was cool. It was, it was good to see people's reactions. And if you're watching this and that was you, like, we see your stuff. Like, we read the, uh, not yeah. horny, but we read the comments. <laughs> we look at your posts. Sorry. And, like, you make your videos. I'll occasionally get on YouTube and I'll just search the totem pole and put it on most recent. And I've seen so many videos on there that, like, are fan-made and stuff or made by people like in this community that's growing we see it all we watch it all i try to respond and comment and send love to all of it because it just i don't know it, it makes me very happy <laughs> to see people invested i guess so push it out there we try to respond and do as much as we can on instagram live too if you want like i try to join the instagram lives and like say hi to people go on instagram live follow whatever we love you all Except for Jorge. <laughs> That's not true. I just haven't seen them yet. I will. I will. Not and really. the show can continue to grow if you tell your friends and share it with them. <laughs> you're talking like, to me? Or you talking hit that to me? like, subscribe, notification bell. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. <laughs> Anyways, last question. As the final five, what did y'all learn about yourselves? from playing the game and then from also watching, but more importantly, what did you learn about yourself playing that game all day in that high intensity? Y'all made it all the way to the very end. You know, that was a lot of stress and a lot of intense stuff went down. What did you learn about yourself playing the game? Um. None of us learned anything about it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, you, um, you. You. Me. Okay. Oh, all right. I feel like I'm in a whole different place. I felt like during that time, I felt like a sheep. Like a, a new, new word for that is like a simp. You know, I was just like very, I had no, I didn't lead my own life, I guess you could say. Um, I don't know if that was seen or conveyed at all through the season, but I feel like that's what I saw myself as, you know, just kind of letting stuff happen and kind of going with the flow. And I don't, I'm not really into that. So I feel that's what I learned about myself that I, I don't like that about myself. So I decided to change it. I was going to say kind of the same thing. Um, I feel like I didn't like speak up enough or, um, like, I never had control, and I don't mean, like, of the game, but I mean, like, when we were in a room talking about who we're going to vote out, like, I never really, like, woke up and was, like, I think we should go, like, I didn't really strategize outwardly with people, um, mm. and I feel like, I, I don't know, that hurt some people doing it that way, but, like, I feel like I could have had a stronger game, in a sense, um, had I, like, been more outward with my strategy, um, rather than just, like, all up in here. Um, Retweet. So I learned that about myself. Like, it's okay to, like, speak up in some places. And, like, yeah. also, maybe I'm not always right. Because, like I said, like, watching it back, I didn't have a clue what was going on, obviously. <laughs> so, <laughs> some humility. Jace? Um, I think I learned that, like, uh, um, a little, a little bit of humility through it all. Um, 
you know, it's easy for me to get on and, and talk crap about, like, how it should have been me, and how I got stabbed in the back, and all this stuff, you know. And, and everybody knows that's my favorite thing to do, uh, if you followed me. <laughs> um, but at the end of the day, uh, you know, the three girls that were in the top played a great game, and, uh, and so did Jorge, and, you know, it could have been any one of us. We all we all did amazing, and it didn't fall that way. And, it didn't, you know, sometimes it's just little, the way life goes. And um, – learning to, you know, deal with loss, you know, like I identify as a three on the, on the Enneagram. And so um, losing is not something I do well. Um, but I think losing the, the totem pole was, was a win for me in the long run of learning, learning how to lose better. Uh, that was beautiful. Wow. <laughs> that was really nice. Was. <laughs> that was so good. I feel so inspired right now, Jace. Uh, That's so great. Uh -huh. Alontis? I can't think of anything, and I feel bad about that. Learned nothing. I did learn Learned how to have fun. But it's all in my background, not my foreground right now. Oh, let me think about it. Can we go to Rachel? Sure, Rachel. <laughs> No. Oh. My girl froze. Hi, <laughs> <Bye>, Rachel. <laughs> no, not, not the winner. We'll never she know. Not learn anything. <laughs> she won. She's literally the same person. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, can y'all hear me pretty well? Yes. yes. I think I can hear you. Yeah. I know. Okay, I'm going to go somewhere else in my house. Hey, hang on. Alondis. <laughs> yeah. You know you got it, Alantis. You answer Okay, can I address this little chat section? Yeah, you just can, happened? yeah. Okay, okay so... <laughs> <laughs> Exposed! <laughs> on, this, on our Zoom call, there's like a chat feature, and Jay said, learn to stop playing dominoes when you're stressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay, listen. When I'm stressed, I cannot be in my situation that I'm in. I have to remove myself, and that's how I process things. I have to... What's your Enneagram? I'm a two. Mm. I don't know what that sense. is. No, 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 no. Like, it makes sense that you have to, like, remove yourself from stressful situations. Like, I have to separate that and myself, because if not, a lot of chaos could have happened on this season if I did it. For sure. Westworld. So take that, Grace. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Rachel's back with a new background. Yeah. Sorry, my connection wasn't very good in the other room, so I had to move. Um, what we learned about ourselves and watching it back and experiencing the totem pole. Um, I had always wanted to play like a social experiment type game, but I was never like sure if I had like the confidence to like go in and go for it. And so this was like something that was way outside my comfort zone because I am like not the loudest in a room ever <laughs> and like I do tend to just kind of like make one-on-one -on -one friendship quicker than my like, group friendships and so this was definitely outside of my comfort zone but like going through it playing the game getting to know everybody like going into it I didn't know a ton of people and then like leaving I was like super good friends with people who I had never met like I had never met Hannah before the game at all mm -hmm. and so um it was just cool to like kind of see like myself grow just even in those like few hours of like doing something that I wasn't really sure that I could do you know yeah so. absolutely Wesley do we get any season three spoilers you don't get any spoilers but you can definitely get a trailer that's out now <laughs> Everybody Ooh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I've already watched it like five times. It was, it's so good. It's Thank so you. good. Thank you. Like, I want to give props to like the, I don't even know what you would call those people. The people that make the videos or record it all. <laughs> like, they're so good. Yes, they really are. They're amazing, like actually. Yeah, in season three, like, it's literally mind-blowing. 
It's mind blowing. I'm excited for it. I'm gonna watch it. Do any of these people know what happens? Could they have potentially have been on season two, three, one? I don't know. <laughs> you have to tune in for season three to see who is returning with baggage to play the game again to try to redeem themselves. Anyways, with that, that concludes the three-part reunion for everyone from season two or everyone uh, who can make it to a reunion. Thank you so much for watching from the bottom of my heart and everyone in the cast and all the producers. It really does mean the world to us that you show the love and support that you do. And we hope that we can give just a little bit of that back. Um, like doing little things like this, like a reunion when we're all in quarantine and trying to fight this war that we're fighting or whatever. <laughs> for sure. That was a circle. <laughs> My circle, I suck at that. Yeah, Jace, you got to work on it. <laughs> Okay, and with that, we'll see you soon for season three. Thank you so much for watching. Everybody have a good night. Bye.